pandas append. Now we're gonna use pandas append when we wanna add rows to the end of our data frame. Now we can add a single row or we can add multiple rows. Let's step through this. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. And then I'm gonna create two data frames this time. So in order to create these two data frames, I will pass a list of values and I'll specify column names. So these would be uh, restaurants in San Francisco. The first data frame will have four rows and the second data frame will have four rows. So let's print these out and see what they look like. And here we have our data frame with various restaurants in San Francisco and their average bill. So what I wanna do first is I wanna append data frame number two to data frame number one. So in other words, I wanna put data frame number two at the end of data frame number one. And in order to do that, all you need to do is call your data frame one, append, and then specify what you wanna append. And in, in this case, we're doing data frame two. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, data frame two gets put on the end of data frame one. Now, one thing I do wanna call out here is you see that the index of data frame two got carried over to here. And in this case, we have duplicate indexes now because we have an index label zero here and an index label zero here. Say you wanted to uh, not carry over the index and just uh, ignore it basically, then you can simply do that by setting ignore index equals true, run this, and you can see here that now the second data frame that gets added onto it is just a continuation of the first data frame's index. So that's how we add multiple rows, but say we just wanna add a single row. Well, in order to do that, you can pass either a pandas series, or you can pass a dictionary, or you can pass a list of any of those. But in this case, I'm gonna do a pandas series. So I'm saying pandas series, specifying my data, and then very important is you need to specify your index too, because these are gonna be the same columns as your original data frame, so pandas knows where to match them up to. Let's go ahead and print this out. And as you can see here, I have a series with name, restaurant name, type, restaurant, average bill, average bill. And what I'll do to append this to my first data frame is I will just go ahead and say pandas.append, my series, which I just created, and ignore index, which is very, uh, very important, so that because there is no index on the series there. Okay, and as you see, this single row gets appended to my first data frame. Now, you can do this uh, as, with a dictionary as well, with a Python dictionary. And in this case, the keys of your dictionary need to be the column names of your original data frame. So here I have name, type, and average bill. And let's take a look at my dictionary. Here it is. And just like before, I will append my dictionary to data frame one with ignore index equals true. Run this. Fabulous. And the end or that row got appended to the end of our data frame. Now say that you want to append multiple rows with a dictionary, that's fine. All you need to do is you have your original dictionary that we were working with beforehand, but now I'm passing a list of them. So I'm passing a list of dictionaries. We'll see what this looks like. We have our list, we have our dictionaries, and then I'll go ahead and I will append my dictionary list, which I just created above, to my data frame one with ignore index equals true. Run this. And all those rows get appended to the end of the data frame. Now, in this example, I've been, or in these examples, I've been pretty strict about having the column names um, equal the keys in my series or dictionary. However, say you don't actually match up the keys. Well, what happens then is pandas actually just creates an entirely new column for you. So in this case, I've replaced our name key that we had beforehand with place underscore name. So this column is not in the original data frame. And let's see what pandas uh, does with this. If we go ahead and append the my dictionary new columns, which I just created above here and ignore index, you can see here that it appends a new row, no problem, but it actually creates an entirely new column within our data frame called place name, which is the name of the new column or the new key that we had in there. And for name, it just throws a nan. So it doesn't include anything in the first place. That is pandas append.